workplace discrimination, cultural appropriation, sexual grooming. Some of the biggest social media stars on the planet have pretty dark secrets that snuck into the light. With over 150 million followers, Kabe Lame is the most followed influencer on TikTok. His silent reactions to goofy life hack videos made him a star during the pandemic, though he's had a lot of success with his simple but hilarious videos, that's not to say there hasn't been controversy. In 2021, a few of Lame's old posts were dug up and began making the internet rounds. Before he achieved internet superstardom, Lame created a handful of videos where he apparently body shamed other people. Some commenters were less than thrilled with this unearthed content. One wrote, I'm so happy I never followed you. Another asked, people still like him after what he did? On the flip side, other commenters didn't see any reason to hold his past content against him. Lame has not commented on these old videos. There's probably not a single person who uses social media and does not know Bella Porch. Via Sports Kita, a TikTok video Porch posted in 2020 became the most liked clip on the platform, and she skyrocketed to fame, gaining nearly 92 million TikTok followers over time. Besides being one of the most famous social media influencers, she is a singer best known for her debut single, Build a B***. Responding to a fan's question on TikTok, the Filipino-American singer revealed that she had parts of her body covered with tattoos to hide the scars from the abuse she sustained as a child. One of the tattoos was of the rising sun flag, which is associated with imperialism and Japan's military history. As per the AP, South Korea requested the flag not be flown at the 2020 Olympics. In a September 2020 tweet, Porch apologized for getting the tattoo done and said she had the emblem covered as soon as she learned more about the flag. She wrote, I apologize to Korea because six months ago I got a tattoo of the red sun with 16 rays. At that time, I didn't know the history. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. In December 2021, Zach King, a YouTuber and TikToker famous for his videos that are heavily edited to make them look like illusions, was sued by a former producer of his company, King Studio LLC. According to Insider, Elizabeth Logan, who started working for King at the age of 23 in 2015, sued the TikToker in Los Angeles County's Central District Court and claimed that King once stripped naked and left his underwear in her office. The suit also claimed he not only committed wage discrimination by paying Logan less than what her male colleagues were being paid at the time, but prohibited Logan from engaging herself in company-wide activities men were allowed to participate in. The lawsuit alleged that King sacked Logan over a Zoom meeting in May 2020 and later cited her habit of excessive complaining as the reason. As per NBC Los Angeles, the complaint read, Zach King falsely attracts brands to work with him based upon a charming, clean-cut Christian persona. In truth, Mr. King is a gifted liar, a narcissist who believes the rules do not apply to him, and a misogynist. Unfortunately, plaintiff Elizabeth Logan found this out the hard way when she began and working for Zach King at 23 years old. In a statement to The Daily Dot, King's rep denied the accusations, adding, "...and while I don't take these claims lightly, I know the truth will be made clear through this process." If you've spent more than five minutes on YouTube, chances are you know who PewDiePie is. With his comedic gaming videos, the Swedish YouTuber born Felix Arvid Ulf Schellberg remained the most subscribed YouTuber for about a decade. Mr. Beast dethroned him in November 2022. In a July 2022 YouTube video titled My Dog Cringes at TikTok, Schellberg made fun of viral TikTok videos he found cringeworthy, including one posted by deaf TikTok user Scarlett May. Reacting to the video in which May was signing and narrating her negative experience with drive through customer service, Shelberg mimics her voice, her signing, and her long nails by moving his pug's paws. Soon enough, the video generated a significant amount of criticism, prompting the YouTuber to cut the derogatory portion out of the video. I know that makes me sound like the biggest douchebag. Later on, May shared her response to the humiliation in a TikTok video. She said, I'm used to it, but a big creator comes on here and puts us a million steps back, so it's very frustrating. Shelberg, who hadn't previously responded to the backlash, took to the comments section of his video video and apologized, writing, I edited out the clip with the girl that has the long nails. Had no clue she was deaf, but kinda dumb of me to not realize. Anyway, honest mistake, my bad. Charlie D'Amelio is an American social media influencer best known for the dance videos she posts on TikTok and Instagram. She and her sister Dixie D'Amelio started posting videos on TikTok in 2019 and immediately shot to fame on the platform, gaining followers from all over the world. Recently, social media users accused Charlie of cultural appropriation. Her renditions of TikTok dances by black creators have brought in a lot of views, and credit hasn't always been given where it's due. On a 2021 episode of The View, Sunny Hostin mentioned Charlie specifically when addressing the issue of white TikTok users profiting off of black creatives. Charlie has since started crediting TikTok trend creators. 
If you're into the art of makeup and social media, you'd undoubtedly recognize James Charles in no time. With more than 23 million subscribers on YouTube and over 22 million followers on Instagram, the makeup mogul is among the most popular social media influencers recognized worldwide. In February 2021, a young boy took to social media to bring the allegation of grooming against Charles. Charles, however, claimed that he engaged in flirtatious conversations with the boy because he believed he was an adult. Later, in an April 2022 YouTube video that has now been made private, the makeup vlogger admitted that he was involved in two instances of sexting with underage boys but maintained he was misinformed about their ages. In the video titled Holding Myself Accountable, Charles noted that he had been using TikTok and Instagram as if they were meant to be used as dating apps and acknowledged that what he did was wrong. He said, It is completely unacceptable. I was being reckless. YouTube took strict actions to prohibit Charles from making money on the platform by temporarily demonetizing him as part of its creator responsibility policy. Creators causing harm to anyone on or outside of YouTube may be penalized for their actions, as per Insider. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.